Hey everyone, Stucker you here, and welcome back to another Hearts of Iron 4 video. You know, there are times in life when I just want to share things. Share things with everyone. Friends, family, food. Unfortunately for Ethiopia, they lost a lot of all that during the wars. So instead of being selfish, why don't we just share? Yeah, baby, we're back in Ethiopia, ready for some more pasta stuff. Unfortunately, I think there's about to be a lot of sauce spilled over Oskum and Adwa, and it's unfortunately for us, the meat sauce variety. So we've only done one path as Ethiopia right now, which is interesting because they have actually a series of different things that you'd be able to do down here, depending on if you go down, you know, the Emperor path. Like, it has actual four endgames from this area, all of which are based around democratic and non-aligned, which is actually really good. That's cool. And so I contemplated doing the fascist one, but instead, mm, I just wanted to see what happens if we could make the world burn a little bit. So let's try this and see if we can not starve, which I know considering that we're playing Ethiopia and we're also going communist, Historically speaking, that's a little bit of a double whammy there on the whole food aspect. I also think I'm going to hell for making that statement. But seriously, what is going to happen first? Are we going to research something or are we going to run out of food first? More than likely, we're, we're going to run out of food first. All right, you know how it is. Set up the basic defensive line and get all the troops set up. And yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and begin then and see what we can do. Because as you know, this is immediately how it goes. We immediately get attacked. All right, retreat, retreat, get these back and let, let's actually prepare. Come on. All right, we are going to preemptively just withdraw our soldiers back here, just try and hold line as much as we can. We are kind of faltering down on this side, so we got to make sure that we cover everything. I'm just going to try this from the beginning and see if I can withdraw all my forces back. I know they're going to be attacking here. The supply situation is not going to be nearly as good for them, so I believe that we can hold from here and that this is the safest line to actually hold. And now we merely hold, doing as much as we possibly can. All right, military communism. Let's see, next step, defending our homes or anti-imperialist. Yeah, absolutely defending our homes first because we definitely want to get that additional defense. 10% is nice no matter how you slice or dice it. Ah, but there they go to annex. All right. All right, there that goes. They accepted. Be prepared to move the troops. Okay, now we have that set. Fall back line again over these four. Okay, perfect. Now we have that claimed. Now it's just a matter of being able to hold. I have a feeling this is going to play out pretty much exactly like what we had in our previous video, so I don't know how much of this I should actually record or show. Actually, on that same note, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw these soldiers from here, fall back line, and we are going to go back here and hold the mountains. This is going to be the significantly easier land to actually defend and prepare, so this is where I'm going to hold out for the majority of my time. Because now with them being over here and stuck in the desert, this means that they are going to be way more punished. All right, defending our homes. Got that one. Next step in the name of the people requires one of the following, and we have to have more than 20% support for the Black Lions. Wait, our Communist Party is called the Black Lion? <laughs> hey, I actually like that. Why can't more names be like that? Not just like, oh, the whatever revolutionary front. Nah, baby, we're the Black Lions. There we go. Anti-imperialist legions. Let's get that started. Not legions, agitation. Highly, I find you... Highly irresponsible. That was bad. All right, withdraw one soldier back. They're faltering over here a little bit. Here we go. Get these guys. Pull them back here. Set. All right. All right. All right. We got this. Hold, my brothers. All right. Let's get another one of these guys back. There we go. Just withdraw. Withdraw. Turn around. It, it, it's just, it's a bit of a little beast trying to hold it all together here. All right. Now, absolutely. We're getting defensive doctrine. Get that going. Because we're going to need to stack as much entrenchment on here as we possibly can. All right, anti-imperial agitation over there. No, we're at 19. Are we going to make it in time? No, 10 days. Oh, that would create... Should I just, should I just wait? I'm going to wait until we have the 20% and see what that does. I know that we're technically going to lose some time, but it's all right. God, the Italians are just burning through all their supply down here. This is why we chose to hold here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to lose about three or four days, which is fine. It's fine. All right, we need to withdraw some soldiers back. Get these guys in here. Are we able to hold this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're holding. We're holding just fine. All right, draw these in. Send more in. Oh, okay, we lost probably an additional day, but now we should more than 20% support. We do have more than 20% support for the Black Lions. We do have it. Do I have to wait an additional day? All right, that's an additional day. Should, can I do it now? Yeah, all right, here we go. So it's going to launch a coup. We're going to create two elite divisions of Red Guards and three elite divisions of Anarchist Black Lions. Please, for the love of God, don't tell me we're going to have a civil war. Just give me some free units. I would, I would love to get some free units. International reputation grows. Hey, that's what we want. All right, so we got that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to get the Minister of Finance immediately, get our factory output up so we can produce some more guns, because that is absolutely necessary. And then please, for the love of God, just hold, just hold along this damn line. Oh, shit. One of our guys got wounded. Come on. You can hold. All right, we're going to throw all these two guys out. Ah, communism and lacking supplies. Who would have thought? All right, here we go. Are we going to have a coup? Did any members of the military and anti-fascist organization known as the Black Lions orchestrated a coup? All right, so they capture key infrastructure, so we've taken it, all right. What to do with Haile Selassie? So we either exile him or we lock him up. This will increase further support for communism, but we lose stability, which is already low, or 
we just get 5% communism. Which our communism is growing any way here, so... You know, I'll just I'll take the 5%. I'll take the 5%, and that's fine. Because otherwise, the stability would be even lower right now. Alright, balance of power, what do we have here? The anarchists or the communists? Whoa, we lean way towards anarchy. What does anarchism do? Okay, so basically, the more anarchy we have, the more likely that our country is gonna fall apart. Who could have possibly guessed? So now, wait, does, what does that do with our ministers? So wait, we- If we get ministers who support our government activities, that increases the power of anarchists? Wait, what? Dr. Alan Work, make it make sense. Use your mustache to figure it out. Okay, now what are we gonna do? A call out to the world or Soviet aid? What, what is this gonna go down? So this is our own communist path, or this is getting the Soviet Union to help. This pushes it more towards the anarchists. This aligns us with the Soviets. Japanese anarcho com Dude, I wanna go down all these different paths. I would love to find this. But let's see, call out to the world just seems to be general chaos. But Soviet aid will straight up give us 10,000 infantry equipment. Yeah, baby, we're going with the communists, I'm sorry. <laughs> 10,000 free guns, are you kidding me? I mean, check it, you go down the emperor path here, and you get to volunteers, that gives you 2,000 guns. It's literally five times the amount of guns, and the Soviets are just going to get it. Actually, it looks like if the Soviet Union agrees. I, I can only hope that they agree, so we'll see. Okay, communist coup, here we go. Now we got black lions, let's see. Alright, red guards, we need less men down south, so we're gonna put those here. We just get three free units, and these are elites, so what does it, what does it do? The black lions. Wait, the black li I thought you said it was elite. It literally just is a 10 with infantry. Red guards? Red guards are also 10 with infantry. Wait a damn minute. I was hoping for like some engineers or artillery or something, but I mean, okay, you know, it's fine. It's fine. At least, at least we get more troops spread here, I guess. Wait, did I lose? I lost my field marshal. Are you kidding me? I lost my field marshal. Now I have to save up the command power again and I gotta do that. Or I could just promote what I already have. Oh, it's cheaper. I prob- yep, we probably need to just promote this guy. Now let's get a mountaineer, because we're- we're gonna be defending a lot here in the mountains anyway. Alright, come on, we gotta rush this in here. I know you bastards can hold. You better not fall now. Okay, there we go, that holds along this line, and I think we did it! Getting five additional free units to help stabilize the front line. Even if we don't get the guns, those five units are going to hold this essentially indefinitely now. I think. And now I guess we just hold out and see what we can do here. Doesn't look like they want to attack us down south anymore. Alright, Soviet aid. Here we go. They gave us a bunch of political power that I can't actually use for anything, really. Division speed, army defense. Oh my god, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, I will take this for the plus .4 experience daily. I should have gotten that immediately, actually. And I guess let's go to war economy. I, I don't think that that's necessarily going to do anything, but it is what it is. With our grand industry here of two civvies. <laughs> Does that mean I could trade away one? <gasps> I could trade away one. Yes, alright. I'm trading away... My one civilian factory I can use now for the French. We went to war economy just so I can give away my civvies for steel. All right, Soviet aid now. Soviet rifles, absolutely. Soviet Union agrees to aid us. Hey, yes. Okay, they should be sending us help now here. All right, send these guys up. Treat these back. Are they not attacking us along this line? No, they're not attacking us down here at all. These guys are just able to build up defense. All right, I guess they don't have the strength down here. They're gonna rot away in the desert. So we're just gonna hold out up here and let them bleed against us as much as we can. What are we at in terms of losses? 30,000 for us, 47,000 for the Italians. It's comparable. Actually, for that to be this early and us doing this well, this the communist path is pretty damn strong. The Soviet Union sends infantry equipment. We just got 10,000 guns. Are you kidding me? That's like anything that I would ever need. That easy? Really? This would just give us 480 armored cars. This would give us... We would automatically get the early fighter technology and receive 100 Soviet fighters. Really? This removes the conservative high demand... Or high command? Oh, this would give me two experienced generals, but I kind of want to use my own, so I kind of want to skip this. All right, instead, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, that really bad high command. Raise from the ranks. You can do this quick as the communists. This is strong. Because now look at it. We have a positive 6,000 guns, which means all this should start to filter in now and we'll be fully stocked on equipment. Being fully stocked on equipment means our, our units now fight at full strength, so we're no longer hurting as badly as we were. I, I don't think we'll be able to be touched now. Before, half of our guys probably had sticks or rocks and were just throwing them from atop the mountain while the other half had guns. In fact, I think now we're actually going to be the positives on producing guns in the first place. Yeah, I'm not even having to micro anymore, it's just 5 speed and just watch it happen. Well, occasional micro. Alright, rise from the ranks. That got rid of this. Let's see. Doctrine's available, and then we can now get all these. Uh, we can also get a military theorist, right? No, we can't. Okay, we can't get this one when we're communist. Got it. Oh, we can go ahead and make this guy an infantry specialist, which allows us to get him down here. 
And no, I don't think we're gonna need the entrenchment anymore, so let's go ahead and go with the attack. Oh, wait, no, I, can't. I don't have the command power yet. All right, we gotta wait. Now, the other strategy I did was to utilize Grand Battle Plan in order to get as much entrenchment as I could. But we actually have a bunch of equipment now, so we don't just need to be on the defensive. We're probably gonna be able to attack earlier. So, I'm thinking superior firepower this time. And so with that done, I don't think that I necessarily need any of this right now. Would I just, would I just skip this if I need to? Yeah, I don't think I need any of this. No, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna focus on uh, building up our military here now. Yeah, military academy. Let, let's see what we can do. Because it's no longer Haile Selassie, it's gonna be someone else. Now we'll go ahead and improve worker conditions, because <laughs> our country is not exactly in a good state still. But we're in the positive on guns now, this is awesome. We can go ahead and train some units though now, can't we? Mountain divisions? I could get some of those. Probably. Yeah, there's a lot of mountains over here. And also guys, here's something that I noticed. So check this out. The Mehil Safari. This has 8 width, right? It's an 8 width infantry. Its supply use is 0.24, right? Okay. The Chitlet Safari is half again the same size. It's combat width of 12, but it has the same supply use. You use less supply with irregulars than you do with your own forces. But this one, 37 and 6 and 112. What is the Mehil Safari? 26 and 492. It's like, yes, the Irregulars are kind of weaker, but they're so much better for fighting over here in the desert. Still, it's not going to be as big of an issue for me, so I'm just going to train my regular guys because that's what I'm going to be expanding upon anyway. So we're going to go ahead and get those 10 divisions trained. As soon as those are ready to go, I think we're going to be able to start pushing in the south and attack. Because yeah, the Italians are just going to be racking up casualties at this point. Still going to get Tenacious Defense, going to improve that. And let's see, keep the people's militia, expand a balance of power is not on the anarchist influencing politics reigns. Okay, so I would have to focus on that. Let's see. We're actually good on equipment. We don't need this technically, but it, we're still going to be fighting, so we might as well get the additional guns while we can. All right, scavenging tactics, that'll help us here. Support local road development. Let's go ahead and do that. And I, I need to actually get more over here. Wait a minute. So I can't expand my army until I've actually fixed that. Oh, if I just go down and get here for state-owned industry, then I'll be in a better situation. Or I could do Soviet generals right now, and that will actually fix it. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna do Soviet generals. Because that is a 35-day focus versus a 70-day focus, which is gonna save us a lot of time. Soviet Union sends military advisors. Okay, so we got generals. Are they better generals than what we already have? Oh my god, wait, they they are. Level 3 versus, what is, what is my guy? He's a level 4, but now he's getting good traits. Oh my god, Rahil Mangesha, look at you! I want you as a general, ma'am, just because look at that hair! <laughs> Though our field marshal already is better than this one, so that, that whole thing seemed to be unnecessary. But, at the very least, now with a state of equilibrium, we should be able to expand the revolutionary army. Perfect. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. I gotta say, so far the communist path has been significantly easier than the regular unaligned path. Alright, concentrated industry, we need to produce more. Because, yeah, we, we still have guns, we have a good amount, but we can't actually produce more units because we will need to be able to control things on this side. Too many units means the guns are going to be spread too thin, and we already are having food supply issues as it is, Ethiopia. And now standardized tactical training for that 275% cost reduction for a land doctrine and an additional 10% for traditional defense. Or, sorry, traditional warfare. But we're just stacking it at this point. Yeah, we got 15% extra defense right now. That's just going to get better. Army morale boost. All right, we held out even longer. Now we can modify traditional warfare by an additional 10% again. Oh, baby. What are we at now? What are we at? Level 6. Here we go. I think that we're actually going to be able to start pushing here. As soon as this one finishes, I think I'm going to go ahead and go for the attack. I think I, think I got this. In fact, we're going to take these guys. We're going to put them into division. I'm going to train these up to level 3 here and try to get them as close as I can. Because as soon as they're up there, then we should be able to go on the attack. All right, almost there. 68, 69, 70. There we go. Bypass the junior officer corps. Get that all done. Wait, did that just give me 50 army experience? No. Okay, so we're not going to get that. Old reliable. So let's see. We can get some additional stuff for infantry weapons and armor, which is awesome. Or, 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 mind you, we did this last time. I'm curious to see. We can get traditional warfare again. Additional entrenchment, more attack, more defense, more speed. We're gonna go with this one, baby, and get even more stuff. Let's just do it. I wanna see traditional warfare with like plus 60% or something. In the meantime, delay, mobile defense, got that. All right, that, we should be pretty good now. <laughs> Cause let's see, 69%, what are we at? Pretty high, pretty high in our defense, I'd say. Of course the Italians are now hurting down here, so I think we're going ahead and uh, let's end their pain, I would say. All right, we just go ahead and push, 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 do more. All right, we'll trap these guys. We just, there we go, get these wrapped up. Because logistically speaking, all right, we're still good on guns. I think at this point we can just begin whittling down the Italian units. 
All right, let's withdraw back, get more soldiers back here. I think that if we let them just move in and don't let them get any entrenchment, that will allow us to go on the attack. Their organization should be bad, and then I think we can just move right on in. All right, come on. Come on, little buddies. Come on. You know you want to go in here. You know you want to go in here. There you go. Good job. Now I think we can go in for another kill, because they're going to be significantly weaker now. And there we go. Wipe out another one. That's good. The more of these units we trap, the better. And then we retreat right on back. Lovely. Old, reliable. Get more stuff. All right, now while we're cleaning up the south, let's go ahead and fix our actual country, because I think we need a little bit of a bureaucracy. Those fields aren't going to plow themselves. Not without being signed in triplicate, I guess. I don't know. I'm kind of lost where it was that I was going with that joke. Wait a minute. So if they take that part, I can wipe out two of these, I think. If I just go right here and then go... I should have been doing this from the beginning, not this little part. I wipe out these two areas and I can go down here and attack this side. Yep, there we go. That's three divisions trapped. This is so much easier than doing it down the non-aligned path. We have guns, we have equipment, we have salt, we have everything. 75,000 dead versus 314,000, September 1937. God dang, this is just so much easier. All right, I think this will be the final push, and then we'll just, once we clear this out, I think it's done. In 30 days, we're gonna have another escalation. As soon as that reaches here, the Italian public is gonna question the war effort. We got it. Yep, there we go, and that's those trapped. All right, fantastic. We still good on equipment? Yep, we're still good on equipment. The Italians are not looking good on men, though. <laughs> University of Addis Ababa. All right, now improve the administration, get that fixed. And honestly, no, we don't, we don't even need this anymore. I think that we've wiped out enough Italian troops that we can go ahead and begin to attack. Italian offer for peace. No, we will keep going. There we go. There we go. Wipe out more. All right, there we go. That traps another one on this side. Let's go. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Oh, look at you little Italians just throwing yourselves over here in the north. A good 350,000 of you are dead, but hey, if it's worth it, it's worth it to you, buddies. And there goes their port. We've taken it here in the south. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, uh, hold on. We're missing infantry equipment. I, I might have I, I might have overthought this part a little a little bit. Um, shit. Underthought? Yeah, that's what I mean. Underthought. It has to be the metal safari. God dang it. Okay. Local police force. Let's reduce the amount of stuff that we need. How, what a deficit do we have? 670. That's that's a pretty decent amount. Okay. We'll end up deleting some of the extra spare Mafari units. The fact that we're doing this before 1938 is insane. <laughs> I will go ahead and delete these four just to get some, you know, equipment, because we actually are going to need that. And I do not want to burn out through my reserves here. And there we go. That's the last vestiges of the Italians just wiped out here in the south. We have it, baby. Oh, my God. That's that's kind of hilarious. And now the Addis Ababa School of Technology. We share the knowledge and the wealth. I feel like I'm just making very cringy communist jokes throughout this entire thing, and it doesn't actually mean anything. Mm. Let's try to see if we can uh, wipe out some of their units over here. I swear to God, if we finish this thing before, like, June 1938, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. That is so incredibly fast. So far, we do seem to be doing pretty well, I can tell you that much. All right, come on, come on, here we go. Wipe more out. Ogaden. Are they launching a naval invasion down here? You Italian little pricks, I swear to God. You try to give them a quick and easy death, and then this shit happens. They're taking it back, are you kidding me? I will wipe all of you guys out. We're taking your northern port, I swear to God. Ah, there we go. There secures the north. And it looks like we're cleaning up things down here in the south now. Okay, note to self. What I should have done is gone ahead and created like an actual area defense over here. But now we can finally clear things out over here. Let's push them out, boys. It's over. We won. The last vestiges of the Italian dreams. 447,000 men versus our 93k that are dead. Oh my lord, we did that so quickly. Addis Ababa is fixed. What should we do now? I know we're going to be good on this side here at this point, so we might as well start actually fixing our economy, I guess. And there you go. It's it's over. We um we, we wiped the north. We actually did it. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get the peace deal now at this point, because technically speaking, we wiped them all out. I Are they are they going to be able to get it? I, I don't know if they will. Can I get the event? Or do I still have to wait 180 days and continuously still be at war? Oh, hey, look, the Italians did try to land again. <laughs> Are you seriously just going to keep on landing more and more troops? Enemy desertions. Yeah, we get more manpower and equipment. They, I guess we actually do have to finish this. We'll just keep on letting them land more troops and kill them. In the meantime, we'll develop our country. Let's see, I don't know, State Bank of Ethiopia, I guess. Wait, wait, what else am I supposed to do now? Except I guess just wipe out more Italian units. Get more experience. Level up more. Yep, there's like another 40k down the drain for you, Italy. I don't know what you expect me to do now. And now we wait. I guess. Really? 
You're gonna send more? We're gonna end up wiping out, like, the entire Italian military here from the beginning before they have a chance to do anything. Alright, balance of power is 0% on the side of the communists. Let's see here. I guess now... I guess the new administration. I, I don't know what to do at this point. I know I said it before, but it's like there, there isn't actually anything for me to do. 534. They're just throwing like 40k men at a time. Huh, you know, even without the Italians help, the nationalists are just kind of taking everything over here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. We can't end the war because we didn't have the event. Oh, that's what it was. I'm an idiot. Okay, so fate accompli would finish things here, but we can't do that. Because we didn't go down the non-aligned path. That's what ends the war. So we would have to invade Ethiopia ourselves, which there's no way that we can get that superiority. So I have to do Soviet mediation. Damn. Okay. Well, I guess clearing the skies then. Let's do this. I could have done this so much earlier. Damn. Improve worker conditions again. Survival against all odds. Are they invading again? <laughs> Damn it, Italy. Why do you keep on doing this? You're at 500. That's another 36,000 men gone. All of that equipment, all that manpower, everything you're producing, and it's just getting wiped. But now that gives us planes, and we get this research for free, so that's awesome. And then now Soviet mediation. I guess let, let's, let's finish it. I, I don't know what else that we could do. The reason I tried to avoid this is because it looks like the Soviets are going to try to take over the country. I don't want that to happen, naturally, so I'm trying to avoid it as best as I can. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Soviet Union demands end to italo ethiopian war. So they... Wait a minute. So Italy just gets all this again? Hold up, are you kidding me? Wait a minute, what? So I do all of that. I take all of this territory and only now do they get- Are you kidding me? I fought so hard for this shit. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, I guess that's the difference between going down the path of the Soviets. It's so much easier, but as a result, the Soviets just give away everything that you gained. God, I should have done this one then. Soviet Union demands foreign policy alignment. We have to allow- I become a puppet of the Soviet Union. Are you- Are you serious? Wait a minute. No, damn it. No. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. No wonder it's so strong. You know, we- We are absolutely going down the path of getting our freedom. Screw it. I- No, I am not in this for this crap. I did not fight and bleed just for that shit to happen. All right, Red Army Engineers, we're going to send home our advisors. All right, send home the advisors. Get the hell out of my country. Do we trade with the Soviets? Do we get new trading partners? No. Screw you, Soviets. Screw you. We're going elsewhere. This is the exact time that I'm supposed to be free, and then this whole shit is happening. Damn you. Wait, our own path. The People's Democratic Republic of Ethiopia becomes free, and we break ties with the Soviet Union. We could get freedom at gunpoint. I feel like, just rushing down this political path, I probably should have done more stuff to boost my economy first. So here's what we're gonna do. Before we do any of these, since I know the Germans are gonna be attacking the Soviets, and that's all gonna be happening, I might as well just build up my economy and everything first, then break away. This could be spicy, actually. In the meantime, of course, everything is just kinda happening up here. Oh, yes, I will accept a Lend-Lease of at least one convoy monthly. I know it's gonna decrease my autonomy, but it's fine. I want more convoys, because I will need to invade things. Oh wow, Italy is taking over all this territory. How interesting that that is happening here. I actually want the Italians to wipe out this territory, because if the Italians can actually wipe out and take this territory over here, that means that I will be able to focus on taking them myself. Oh, oh, nope, looks like the Italians are actually getting pushed back down here. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you already lost half a million men trying to take Ethiopia. I even lost the two steel that I had up here, and that's it. <laughs> All right, arms production, because we need to get those civvy factories and we need to get everything up and running here, I guess. All right, so this would change into a colony. Wait, 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 wait. Would this, if I was free, would that just do it? No, I would, I would, I would automatically get it. I'm not even going to spend the political power. We're going to save that political power because that's going to be necessary for us. Also, free trade because we have no resources anyway. That should have been a must. I should have done that with my political power much earlier. All right, let's see. May 1940, we still have a lot of time left. Oh, but wait a minute. We have an event here for boots on the shore so we can get... Oh, Mmm, I want that. You know what? We're gonna do freedom at gunpoint. I, I want to see if we can get Saudi Arabia as a puppet. If if the Soviets will let us go. I don't know if the Soviets are gonna let us go. We'll try. Because let's see. We want to build our basic units so that it is a little bit stronger. Mountain divisions probably too. Make them a little bit stronger themselves. No, we can't do that. Can we make them 10 width? No, we can't. Okay, so they're just stuck there. That's fine. All right, it's whatever. We're taking all of our equipment. We're getting the stockpiled in. We're, we're, we'll, we'll get it done. It's fine. You called the Ethiopians into your war with Finland. Why? It's not like I can do anything up here anyway. All right, freedom at gunpoint. Let's see. Wait, could I just get that? Could I just declare war? No, it's not gonna let me declare war because I'm a puppet. Okay, 
Uh, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's go for independence, I guess. All right, crank out 17 more units, just in case we get attacked. That's fine, because maybe with additional numbers, it'll intimidate the Soviets. I don't know if this will actually do anything, like an extra 110,000 men. It might, it might. I don't know. Wait, liberate Kingdom of Morocco from Vichy... What? So we just... Wait, 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 wait. Freedom at gunpoint. So that, that, that event, al that allows me to just automatically gain a war goal against the different powers? So I could go and I could attack the Italians right now, potentially. Wait a minute. Our own path. We're free. Are they going to take offense? Are the Soviets going to do anything? I don't think the Soviets... Hey, we just got freedom. Awesome. That means that I right now could go after the Italians. Well, I mean, I don't mind if I do, I guess. Just need to make sure I have all of my troops prepared up here. And let's just go ahead and do boots on the shore. <laughs> so let's see. Like, what, what, what did I get from Italy? Liberate Kingdom of Italy, Angola. No, no, no. No, what we want is the Liberate Eritrea from Italy. So in 14 days, or did, did I just get it? Can I just declare war? No, we don't have war. So I have to wait 14 days, and then we'll be good. Let's just go ahead and go. <laughs> Because we're now at war with everyone. I could join the allies. I could join the allies right now, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to join the allies because I specifically want to be able to potentially screw over everyone else. This could be big, but we're going to need a lot of guns to do so. Am I going to get it? Oh, I got it. Yes, I took the port. Okay, fantastic. We got the port. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And there goes the last vestiges of the Italians down here. Lovely. Okay, we took that territory. Fantastic. And I think that means, can I just ask for military access from the British? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to get that, which means, could I potentially, like, put an army of mine over here on, on this side? Could, could I do that? Actually, wait, I realized we're in a neutral country, so there's no way to, for us to actually attack there. I guess I'm just stuck here for a while longer again? All right. We're going to need a lot of convoys. Turkey, give me convoys. It's like the same thing as what we did last time. United States, will you give me convoys? You will. Oh, thank you so much. I need lots of convoys. 19 convoys, 49 convoys. Yes, I absolutely will take that. Thank you. Thank you so much for the convoys. All right, now what I realize, what, what I might need to do, what I might need to do, if I want to try that same strategy that I did last time, I need to make the Mahal Safari weaker because I can't actually get more units of the, the other thing. Or I need to produce just less of them. <clears throat> we might need to go service by requirement and just get them all across. Yep, six months. Ooh, we're gonna need that manpower. Sure, we're going for it. Service by requirement, baby, let's go. Because at this point, we have a good amount of infantry equipment, so that means that I could just go and crank out a whole bunch of these divisions. All right, so let's see. We need to surround our border, make sure that we're fully protected on all sides here. All right, organization of African unity, done. Let's see, next step, mutual defense. Oh, yes, let's get some additional defense. Every single member, it looks like he's gonna get 10% division defense. So on top of our already base, like, 35% that we have here, well, that means 45 division defense. That is ridiculous. All right, we are completely out of manpower at this point. Every single man is going into the field. We have to, we have to put as many troops out here as we possibly can. Okay, 20%. I think that's good. Let's see how many we got. All right, 73 divisions. I think, I think that should be enough. Shoot, okay, hold on. Okay, perfect. All right, 61. 61 should be fine. It's not as many as I would like, but I think it's enough. So we're gonna take all these guys and we're just gonna go with the Order 66 strategy just to eliminate the United Kingdom. And I think from there we'll be able to continue on. All right, because these guys should be able to start making their way down here. It's gonna take some time though. We do need convoys. Lots and lots of convoys though. United ah, oh, thanks United States. Thanks for giving me convoys that I'm gonna use to kill your ally. I greatly appreciate it, like a lot. Mutual defense, okay. African Central Bank, we'll get that. These guys are just slowly making their way up. I just need to time this right for as soon as the Germans declare war on the Soviets, because as soon as they do, if I end the war on this side, all right, it's June. My men are now starting to arrive. We're getting more in here. They should be transporting, okay. If we can just last, please, Japan, do not declare war on the United States just yet. Invite Liberia to organization. Is Liberia free? I guess they might. Oh, let's see. Will they accept? They rejected it. You bastards. Okay. What if I improved relations with you? Would you try it again? Because apparently I can ask you again. All right. Executive Council. Perfect. Okay. There go the German against the Soviet. So that's happening. Right, with more men underway, I think it's time that we go ahead and do Order 66. <laughs> let's see. Before any of that, I think... If I offer peace for Italian for Eritrean independence, All right? Will they just do it so they don't have to deal with me? They agreed to the peace officer. Hey, okay. So we 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 got Eritrea, I guess. Italy. Wait, no. I still keep French Somaliland. For, wait, hold on. Isn't Eritrea supposed to be free now? Wait, what? 
Isn't that supposed to work here? Oh well, I guess now that means we can go down here and we can justify against Belgium. I thought that eat the like Eritrea was supposed to be free. Why is Eritrea not free? Well, there goes the British. It's definitely not free now because the British were like, oh, is this free real estate? Definitely not free. At least we kept a port. Anyway, Belgium, let me declare a war on you because I got to liberate people, I guess. And then UK joins, which means the Ethiopians are in London, baby. And so in the end, the United Kingdom capitulates just like that. All right. So let's see. Do we want any of this? No, we don't want any of the United Kingdom. I don't care about any of this stuff. We are, we are freeing Africa, my friends. Italy? No, you are not getting French Somaliland. It's mine. All right, and I guess that is, um, that is that. Germany, holy shit, this is gonna make them really strong against the Soviets now. Um, oh, right before they're probably about to declare war too. Okay, well, I should probably get these troops back, I think. I got the African Central Bank. Venezuela now joins the Axis. Oh no! I guess that's all they were waiting for. But it's okay, it's okay. We have control over all of this now, right? We have a war goal against Saudi Arabia. I could probably use that next. Will the Soviets actually be able to hold back now? That's the thing I, I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to, I want to see if I can get military access from the Germans. If I declared also war on the Soviets, if I justified on them for something, could I, could I do that? I could potentially do that. Could I get access? Wait, Japan has called National South Africa as our enemy? Japan declared war on the Philippines. Wait, why am I at war? Who am I at war with? Who, what? Who am I at war with? I'm the Kiwi Empire. Why am I called into the war? I don't have any subjects. I don't, what? Did I just get declared on? I am so confused right now. Why am I at war? But wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What? I, I don't even know what's gonna be happening anymore. This is so confusing. I'm pretty sure that the Soviets are about to get their asses handed to them because I don't know what else to do down here. I mean, I'm probably going to attack the, the Soviets or the, the Italians, I guess. Right, the African Union. Will that work? I, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh god, the Soviets are gonna be pushed back so far. Oh, wait, whoa, wait, Japan declared war on the Germans! Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I'm also at war with Germany. I can get mili military access to the Germans. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! That's not what we want at all here. No, 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 guys, guys. I know exactly what we're doing. We are putting all 105 here. And we're getting military access to Italy and Germany. <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening. This is so dumb. This is going to be so dumb. Guys, I swear to God. I swear to God if this works. This is so dumb. Germany is now inviting me into the faction. <laughs> I'm telling you this. I'm not accepting it. Formation of the African Union. Okay. We got the African Union. Can I get like, um, is there like any other stuff that I could do? Invite Liberia to the organization. Okay. Will they, will they accept it now? I improved relations with them a bunch. Hey, Liberia joins the union. Okay. Intimidate leadership. All right. So can I just do stuff like this? I don't know. Did I get cores on everything here? I don't know if I got cores on anything. They join the central bank. Invite them to the mutual defense agreement. They join that. Invite I Liberia to the elect to the executive council. Okay, we're just clicking the button and just waiting for things to happen. Oh my god, wait. They refuse to join the electric council. Okay, let's see. Intimidate the leadership. Okay, we'll intimidate them. All right, we successfully intimidated them. Now we'll invite them. All right, they joined, and now we integrate them into the union. Oh wait, did they become a puppet when that happened? They become a puppet when that happens. Oh my lord, that is hilarious. So now we just integrate. I guess we'll just move integration. We're spending all of our political power. It's a good thing we saved it. I am loving this flag though. Oh, wow. Japan landing there in the south. Um, I actually might need to protect myself here. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, Germans. I'm just looking for a little Lebensbraum. You know how it is. No big deal. Like hell. Now we can lower the autonomy. Again, annex. We annex Liberia. <laughs> Welcome to the African Union. And I guess we kind of finished everything over here, so let's just go over and start working on our economy. I guess we've just been, it's like we've been in a cave in Ethiopia, just establishing our political theories on world domination and, sorry, communism, freedom, that. So, you know, we're all about the common soldier, I guess. All right, and since we're not occupying anything in Vichy, France, I, I suppose, is it time we justify a war goal? Do we have any troops out? Are all of our stuff around? No, they're, they're not, they're not all there yet. Okay, we gotta wait a little bit longer. We gotta wait a little bit longer, and then we justify on Vichy, France. We have like the weakest equipment, but it doesn't matter. The guys are just appearing in all the countryside cities. Oh, they're really fighting. They're really fighting up there. Well, Germany, I think you're a little bit busy getting your uh, Lebensbraum over here, but I think the Africans are looking for their own German Lebensbraum if you catch my drift. So let's justify on Vichy France. 
That's gonna take 100 days, but it is what it is. Speaking of Liebensbraun, let's get rid of private property. Oh, they're fine right up to Moscow. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that's a fat Soviet pocket that's about to get wiped in here. And Legionary Romania, reaching pretty strong. I mean, I guess you all can do what you want because in, um, in about 30 days, it's not gonna matter. More men for the grinder. All right, there we go. The justification is done, which means let's justify and or let's attack Vichy France. They're in the same factions, <laughs> so if we go ahead and declare war, will the Germans join? Yep, well, Italy did. And Romania and Bulgaria and everything else, which means that Italy is now wiped out. And if the Germans refuse to join, I guess that means we just go over here and go after Vichy because it's not like they're gonna be able to do anything to resist us. I really want the Germans to join though. Come on, join. Italy has called the Protectorate of Albania into the war. Okay, yeah, I understand that they're still at war here, all right? And these things are still happening. Wait, how do the Soviets get control of all that? Come on, call the Germans. Romanian Australia has called Legionary Romania. What do you mean Legionary Australia or Romanian Australia? Dear God. There we go, now they finally call the damn Germans. Hello, Germany. <laughs> You're looking a little pockmarked here, which immediately put you at 75% towards capitulation. Come on, let's just, let's just rush this. Let's just rush it and go, boys. And there we go. <laughs> God, this is so stupid. I can't believe this is happening. Okay, wait, so now the Soviets, the Soviets still get overwhelming majority of war score. So, ah, uh, can I at least take all of this territory that I actually wanted from the beginning? My rightful African clay. And everyone, this is, this is now the African Union here. This is, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this feels so dumb and broken. Oh, uh, God, I hate that. <laughs> this is so dumb. And uh, now, wait a minute, wait, I'm still at war with the Japanese. Who, are the Japanese at war with the Soviets? No, the Japanese are not at war with the Soviets, they're not. Um, the United States is, and will also give me military access. This is so dumb. <laughs> we're doing it to the United States now! It's 1942 and we're just chaining all of these together. Alright, we're gonna produce 180 more divisions of just like random crappy shitty infantry. And let's just send these guys on over here to the United States! Oh my lord, this is so dumb. How far, how far can we take this though? That's, that's my question. Like, how, how far is too far now? Because you can just keep on chaining these again and again and again. All right, there's 180 shitty divisions. Oh shoot, we're actually losing guns now. Um, am I recruiting anything? No, I'm not. Uh, please give me guns. I kind of forgot that was going to be a bit of an issue. Yeah, we, we, we got to delete some of these and get some manpower back. I did not realize how quickly we were going to be accumulating that many issues. All right, I think we're about almost done over here. Uh, the soldiers are moving in. It's been taking them years to just get across the ocean in the first place. I don't know exactly what they sailed on, but it is what it is. From sea to shining sea, we're going to own every square inch of the United States. Uh, United States, I think it's a little bit too early for you to be involved in Vietnam. I would quite literally be concerned with your own backyard first. Fall of Tokyo. Oh, oh shoot. Is that gonna be happening here? Oh, oh no, we gotta go fast. Oh, hey, United States. Looking a little, uh, looking a little sick there, I would say. <laughs> oh, God dang it. God damn it. I'm done. Okay, this three times now. That is three times that we've done. I, and you don't, here's the thing, here's the thing. This strategy is super cheesy. It's broken, right? It's completely broken. But simultaneously, you get no war score from it. So even though, even though I did all of this to the United States, I get 127 war score because you, you don't get anything. That's why even though this is a super cheaty strategy, it's not actually very rewarding in the end. Screw it, I'm taking Florida and like, that's it. There you go. <laughs> I do all that effort and this is the conquest that I actually gain. And Japan got the entirety of the United States, but I'm already in the United States, which means, <laughs> which means I can just take over it again. Oh, this is so dumb. Everyone, this has been communist Ethiopia. It has got to be one of the most cancerous runs that I think I've done in a long time. Um, I'm not doing that part again. Uh, that, yeah, probably useful in order to get things for exploits. I'll, I'll give you that much, like for achievements, but definitely don't want to do that again. So actually, let me know in the comments below what it is that we should do next. I really am looking forward to doing something, uh, something different. So please let me know. I'll see what it is that I can find in the comments. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. This was, um, this was incredibly stupid. African Union reigns supreme, baby!